The Today Show celebrated Halloween by having all of their on-air talent dress up in some way. And Matt Lauer decided to go as Pamela Anderson, or CJ, which was the character that she played in Baywatch. So we have some pictures showing you guys uh, what some of the uh, cast members wore. And, you know, there it is. That's uh, unfortunate. There yeah. was some serious tuckage going on for that, that costume. So that's Matt Lauer as, theoretically, maybe Pamela maybe Anderson. maybe not much tuckage. Who knows? No, oh, that's <laughs> not right. That's not right. <laughs> well, Look, I don't know. I don't, I'm just saying. No, I'm, giving I, you, I, I'm giving you all the possibilities, okay? Uh, no, I hear you on that. I, luckily, no one here knows. <laughs> okay. Now, there's a, a bunch of other costumes that were fun, right? But I want to get back to Matt Lauer in a second, because that's where I'm going to be slightly controversial. Um, so we had Savannah Guthrie uh, and Natalie Morales as Laverne and Shirley. Uh, that was lovely. And then... Uh, and I thought they were fairly realistic. I thought Kathy Lee Gifford and Hoda did a good job as Wilma and Betty. Uh, that was lovely. Uh, and then as I was looking at the Pamela Anderson and then Willie Geist as David Hasselhoff and, and Carmen Electra as Carmen Electra, I was like, wow, who played Carmen Electra? Carmen Electra is hanging in there. She looks great. And then I was like, oh, that is Carmen Electra. Get it, okay, girl. I Get got it. you. Yeah, and then, yeah, when Willie Geist was carrying her, that was, I was like, hey, Carmen Electra, after all these years. Uh, awesome. All right. Yeah. Uh, Al Roker did a great job with Mr. T. Mm -hmm. He uh, really did. And then Carson Daly was terrible as part of Chip. But Eric Estrada did a great job as Eric Estrada. Do you know that when I was younger, uh, everybody thought I looked like Eric Estrada? Really? Yeah. A little bit, but not really. I would argue a little you, you bit. I would argue you're better looking than Eric Estrada. Really? Yeah. That's the first time I've gotten a compliment from you in about seven years. Thank <laughs> you. I'll take that. I'll take it. Okay. Uh, I don't necessarily believe it, but I, th I believe that you believe it. I, I don't necessarily think it's the case. Mm -hmm. Anyway, um, so here's the controversial part. I always get a sense that guys who dress up like girls on Halloween kind of want to do that. You think that they're secretly cross-dressers, but they're on the DL about it? A little bit. Okay, uh, maybe, I don't know why maybe, I'm saying a little bit like my three-year-old son maybe, the whole day, but you need to be. Maybe some guys are, but I know plenty of guys who do it because they think it's funny. They just want the oh, attention. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's funny, yeah. They, they, do, want, they the want the attention. attention. They want guys looking at them, right? <laughs> they don't want guys looking at them. Okay. Now, I'm being a dick, right? And and if, uh, and there, like, I remember there's a 10-year-old Jane Cougar picture dressed up, right? Uh, See? And, Right. Uh, uh, so hey, glass house. Except I don't think I voted for it. Uh -huh. It was like a f cute, funny idea my parents had to show to their friends. Ah. <laughs> okay. But I mean, whatever. If you're into it, God bless your heart. Mm -hmm. Of course, I don't mind, right? But uh, I feel like there's a lot of guys who, like year after year, dress up as like some other woman. Like, oh, here I am, dressed as another woman. Oops, <laughs> isn't this so much fun? Yeah, so I, I think it depends on how often they do it. If they do it year after year, then all right. Then it, it's it, the same thing that women do when it comes to Halloween, where it's like, oh, I can't wait for Halloween so my titties will be out. Like, you know. Yeah, yeah. all right, to get so, that inner, you know, out. Yeah, they, you know want, they want their, maybe their alter ego, or maybe, you know, their inner uh, hoochie to come out and play. <laughs> So that's one thing. And maybe it's a similar thing for guys who do decide to dress as women year after year. It is what it is. Like, there's nothing wrong with it. There are plenty of guys out there who do like to cross-dress, but that doesn't mean that they're gay, and it doesn't mean that, you know, they're attracted to other men. It's just something that they like to explore, and there's nothing wrong with that. No, I totally agree with that. Yeah. And, and just, you know, have at it, Hoss. Bless your heart. I'm just saying it's something that I've observed, I, and obviously I could be wrong about it, and I could be a dick. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, but uh, and, it, and by the way, I, don't get me wrong. I'm not like my mom, who believes that if you play a role really well as an actor, that's who you are. So, like uh, the guy who plays Dexter, obviously a serial killer. Okay, <laughs> and so I don't think that if you dress up as someone, you are that person. So, for example, one year I dressed up as Oscar the Grouch, mm -hmm. and I was in a garbage can, and I was green. I'm not really grouchy, nor do I want to live in a garbage can. Okay, by the way, somebody's like, hey, Incredible Hulk, why are you in a microwave? <laughs> so, <laughs> nor do I want to be the Incredible Hulk in a microwave. 